Hi, I'm Brandon Wynn with the Men's U.S. National Gymnastics Team. And my pro tip for you today is the secret to training for really good abs. So today I'm going to talk about a little bit about muscle confusion and how muscles can be really stubborn. But the idea here and the, the common misconception about training for good abs is a lot of people think that you need to do a lot of repetitions of a basic exercise to get good abs. So let's think about this for a second. What, what are your abs? You know, they're the fundamentals, they're your core. They're activated in almost every single movement you do in everyday activity. So what does that really mean? Your abs are very used to being activated at a, a low intensity level very, very frequently throughout the entire day. If you were to turn that all into a workout, it would be a very basic exercise over and over again. So when you train abs, why would you want to do the same exact thing thinking you're going to get great results and get great growth in a difference if you're going to do the same thing that they're used to been doing your entire life? It doesn't make much sense. So my idea about training abs is you should train them heavy and you should train them at a low rep because that's the exact opposite of what they're used to. That's the opposite of what you've been doing your entire life. So we do a lot of focusing and targeting on lower abs training as gymnasts. So we do leg lifts, which I'm going to show you in a second. But the idea here, and my idea about abs specifically, is you want to place your core in the position that you want it to grow. So if you're doing abs with your stomach pushed out all the time, and everything you're doing, you, you know, you do it without your stomach tucked in, and every movement you make is really open like this, when your abs grow, they're going to be used to being in that position, and that's the position that you're going to have. If every time you perform a core exercise, you're doing it with your stomach tucked in and very formed, then what you're doing is you're creating your muscles. Yes, they're breaking down, but they're getting used to being in that tucked tight position. So these are some leg lifts. This is what we do for a lot of abs training. And again, this targets that lower abs. Basically, you start in a hanging position. You're going to lift your legs up to the bar and back down like this. And back down. And a lot of times, what I'll do is I'll put ankle weights on, again, for the same idea, doing a little bit of a heavier rep. But the idea is you want to do the opposite of what you do every day. Every day, you're activating your lab abs at low intensity, so you got to do the opposite. Again, this is Brandon Wynn, and that's my pro tip for you on how to train good abs.